Hello there. This time we'll talk about some of the very unique formatting tricks which will help you uh, achieve something which otherwise you thought could not have been achieved. For example, if I look at a sheet, it, it has a column of date, client name, amount, check number. Now, the problem with uh, this kind of a data is the check number usually is a six digit code. Now, when you take a printout, it doesn't look that good. Why? Because when a particular staff member thought about writing the check number, he would have written the three digits 000 and then maybe the check number 123. Now, if he had not picked the single quotation and he would have pressed enter, the zeros would have been lost. And this is something that we have already known. The second point is I may wish to apply a prefix in all these numbers talking about rupees. R S and in India it's a customary thing to have put rupees dot sign before the numbers. Also, just to avoid confusion whether the date is 3rd June or 6th of March in this case, I would want to apply a trick which allows me to have the format of the cells which not only signifies date with the date, uh, also signifies the month name in letters, pure letters. So how do I achieve this compared to what I have in the sheet called after? I have a column of date, perfectly formatted. The names of the client have these trailing dots and the best part is as I increase the size of the column width, notice it self adjusts. Even if the name was a very simple one, let's say letter A, letter A, let me delete that, enter. Notice the dot self adjusts. You have the prefix rupees and in fact they are just acting like a number despite the word rupees being there. Also, the check numbers have all the six digit code. Now how to achieve this? First, to convert this date in a format which looks like DD, MMM, YY format, choose the entire column A and press Control Shift 3. That's a shortcut key, Control Shift 3. Next, if you want to have the trailing dots in all these client names, I will have to use this format at the rate star dot in the column B. So I right click, I go to format cells or instead I can choose column B and press control digit one. I'll go to custom in the place where I'm supposed to write the general. I'm deleting that I'm putting at the rate star dot. And if I press OK, whoop, I get exactly the same thing as I was looking for. Not only that, I can go to format cells and in the custom, I can also perhaps put dash instead of the dot. I can put the dash. Okay. Now you have the same effect as this one. Although I would not want to have the same effect in the heading. So I quickly copy the format from date and from client name. I simply going to paste special and format. Next, I would want to have a prefix of rupees in column C. So what should I use? I go ahead and choose all the numbers. I press control digit one. I go to custom. Now notice I'm going to put double quotation R S dot space double quotation close and then 0, 0.0. This ensures the numbers are there with one decimal. Now notice these are numbers with one decimal, but I don't find any comma separated values just the way you have in millions and lakhs. So what do I do? First, I go to home tab, I apply this comma separator, I reduce one decimal, then again I go to right click format cells or you may press control digit one and within that notice this custom, it has a long list of a custom code which signifies the comma separator should be there with the millions. Now before the starting point of this custom code, I put a double quotation, I put in RS dot double quotation closed. Notice in the preview section, the rupees has been added and as I press OK, you get benefit of both the words. You have the rupees prefix as well as the number with comma separator as well as one decimal. Towards the last, I would want to have the prefix check number 00 wherever it needs to be added. And the point is the total digit should look like six digit code. So the trick is I choose all the check numbers. I press control digit one that will take me to format cells. And once I'm there, let me go to custom and in the place where the general is posted, I'll put in six times zero. Now notice in the preview window, it has shown me the same number four digits, but before that there are two zeros that seems to have been added up. Okay. And there you go. This is the kind of format you were looking out before getting a printout.
although just keep in mind the length of the data remains to be 4 it is not 6 this is just a display value that has changed through the format of cells hope you enjoyed the session because these tricks are very difficult to find over the internet and i've given all that in one place do apply this and let me know your feedback